I don't think I have ever been surprised by a piece of software like this. What was surprising to me is that I expected so little of this tool, thinking it was just another generic tool. But little did I know, this is one of the best tools for texturing considering all of its features and its whole ecosystem. Today we're gonna take a look at Abstract's Instamat Studio. You can think of Instamat as if you put Substance Designer, Substance Painter, and Quixel together with a little bit of geometry nodes sprinkled on top. Now, if that sounds like a lot, well, because it probably is. The software can do so much, and trying to do it justice in this video is basically impossible. However, I will still try to run through some of its major features and why you should care in the first place. The software is relatively new, being released earlier this year. If the name seems familiar, that's because Abstract are the developers behind InstaLOD, which is a 3D optimization solution used by some of the biggest names in the industry. And Instamat is actually built on top of InstaLOD. They even have a 3D engine, although it is still in early access, but this is besides the point. Instamat allows you to create fully procedural PBR materials, reusable PBR presets and packages, and procedural mesh processing like baking, optimization, and UV and wrapping, with deep integration of InstaLOD. There is also a mixer like layering workflow, which is really powerful, also image to PBR, and a lot more. Right away, when you start Instamat, you will notice a couple of different options. You have layering that allows you to layer materials, shapes, and images. Then there is Element Graph, which is a node-based designer for things like materials. And finally, you have Atom Graph and Function Graph. And this is where you create your own nodes, which is kind of advanced, I think. It is easy to pick up, but kind of hard to master. These are the three options, and they feed into each other more than you think. For instance, Element Graph allows you to build materials by combining textures, images, shapes, meshes, and even point clouds. This not only allows you to build procedural materials, but also dynamic modular materials that can work with any future model that you have if you wish to apply the same procedural materials to it. Instamat Studio also comes with a huge library of assets. Under the Material Library panel, you can find all the materials, grunges, decals, noises, effects, and so much more. These materials are all created using nodes in Instamat's element graph, and all their parameters are exposed and can be tweaked to your heart's content, which makes them super versatile and reusable. Now, I want to show you how easy it is to create some high-quality and complex-looking materials in Instamat. Pick layering and open a new empty material. Search for wood material from the library, drag it and drop it on your mesh, adjusting its parameters accordingly. Next, drop a mud material on top of the wood. You might notice its naturally applied crevices. Adjust its blend offset and other exposed parameters like water level or height level. And that's it. You just drag and drop materials, create a multi-channel, one for dust and another for debris, and take advantage of Mesh Mask Builder and Mesh Object Mask, which are both great tools to apply any kind of mask you want. And after 5 minutes, you can create something like this. What's even more powerful is that you could expose any dynamic parameter of this material which you can use in any other Instamat project. And the process is really simple. Just go to the input panel and drag and drop any parameter that you want to expose. At the end, I want to thank the developers of Instamat Studio for sponsoring this video to help us create more content and bring useful tools like this to you guys. So if you are interested in Instamat Studio, I encourage you to check some of the videos Jeremy from Abstract posted on their YouTube channel and learn more about the software. All links will be in the description down below. And let me know what you think about the software in the comment section down below. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.